Ja, herzlich willkommen zur neuen Ausgabe von Messi Talk. Ich bin in Vancouver, äh, Oktober 2016. Äh, neben mir ist der neue Präsident von Terex. Äh, und Terex kennen wir schon seit äh, Juni. Im Juni habe ich das erste Interview geführt. Und ich habe damals gesagt, das ist wohl einer der interessantesten Picks äh, auf, auf meinen Trip im Juni, weil das ist nahezu eigentlich ein Home Run. Also ich war eigentlich begeistert von der Company und die Company hat eigentlich genau das gemacht, was sie tun sollte. Sie hat nämlich ungefähr 100% Performance gemacht, obwohl ein Placement war. Und Stuart Rogers, er ist jetzt Präsident der Company, wird uns jetzt erzählen, warum das, äh, äh, ja, was da los war, warum die Aktie 100% gemacht hat. Stuart, congratulations. Thank you are the new president of the company. Thank you. Uh, and um, yeah, our last interview, and I told us in my German introduction, was in, in June. The share price was around 40 cents. And I say to my subscriber, I th think this is a home run. It's a no-brainer uh, that the company should go higher. Uh, then you have a whole district. The drill results, what you have so far at this uh, stage is, is unbelievable. And for me, it's, it's a, it's a no-brainer that the share must go higher. Um, at this time, you uh, arrange a financing. Uh, I think it was with 40 cents. And this is really unusual that normally the share price double when you have a financing. So, well, it doesn't normally double when you have a finance. Normally, your fi price goes down, your market's weak, and you struggle. What was unique about this was that this financing, because it was summer and people weren't around, uh, it was oversubscribed. It was originally set to be a smaller amount to. Uh, mm -hmm to get a strategic investor involved, somebody that could come in and, get and help the company. It wasn't to raise money uh, for the sake of raising money because we had plenty of money mm -hmm. to do what we want to do because we want a pretty lean operation and our costs are reasonable in Yellowknife, so you know we could do fine with what we had. But uh, this investor was uh, got involved, uh, brought in a, a group of individuals. They ended up, uh, ended up going from $3 million to basically we cut it at seven and a half. That's enough. It's a flow through, which is effective for us. Mm -hmm. It's money that has to be spent on exploration, mm -hmm. which I think all shareholders appreciate. Mm -hmm. uh, and we, there were no warrants with it, it's just a straight share deal, mm -hmm. but it got these individuals a, a placement in the company. And what was unique is when this was announced, the stock went to 80 cents mm -hmm. <laughs> because it was oversubscribed. People could see, I think, the work that we've done over the last few years, and that credit is to Joe Campbell, who's now our chief executive officer mm -hmm. and chairman. He got a, a promotion so uh, to make room for me. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know we worked together on this for a number of years, and Joe is, was a visionary in identifying this project and doing the right work on it with very little money over the years. And finally, we're now we're in a stronger gold market, but we are getting the results, and people are really seeing the potential now that this is a district. Yellowknife was historically the highest grade gold district, gold camp in Canada, uh, with production from the Con and Giant mines. We have uh, tied up all the land around those property. It used to be the exploration land that those companies were relying upon to to expand and should they have not gone out of business just to, to circumstances, the price of gold, the other reasons that old mines have shut down. But now we have that, uh, that, uh, that area under our control. Uh, it's very prospective geology. I mean, we've, if you go to our website, you see all the results from surface sampling, drill samples, amazing high-grade results. Mm -hmm. And Absolutely. now with the work that Joe's done, I mean, we got lots of lots of targets. We're focusing in on a number of key targets that have been very good for us. Obviously, Miss Pickle, we reported results. Mm -hmm. so I think when we were here in, you were here in June, eight meters of 60 grams. But more importantly, the results we do, they're fantastic drill results, but they're also drill results that expand the size mm -hmm. of the project. They really ex take it down deeper. They extend it along strike that's what you want to do so you start to see you know the p whole picture come together so you know that's what's happened that's what's allowed us to attract the investors that allowed us to attract that financing you know and an unusual situation where financing is open for a month and a half because it's summer and nobody's around and still trading at a double yeah so that's unbelievable it was really unbelievable and uh what do you do now with the money? Drilling, drilling, drilling? drilling. 27,000 meters of drilling. So a very large program. Uh, we started in uh, about the end of July. Uh, we set out to do 7,000 meters. Uh, we have then, uh, we brought in, we went from one, real, one drill rig to three drill rigs. Mm -hmm. uh, we're, just, we're just tallying up the totals now. We finished drilling for the summer because it's starting to freeze up in Yellowknife. We have to get the rigs out, winterize them, you know, get prepared for winter drilling, put the trails in place, which we'll do through November. Well, December when things are cold enough, and then we'll be back drilling in January. Mm -hmm. uh, with the drilling that we did, I mean, it looks like we've done about 34 holes approximately. We're just doing the final tally now in 9,700 meters. So we expanded from 7,000 meters we wanted to get done in this first phase to 9700 meters uh, 
We've got a tremendous amount of core. What we're finding in the drill core that's also unique is that when we drill holes, we're finding the gold uh, mineralization is pervasive throughout the holes with mm -hmm. low-grade gold. Mm -hmm. You know, we report the main high-grade zones, mm -hmm. but around those low-grade zones are uh, lots of low-grade mineralization, which is important mm -hmm. because when you actually go to mine, especially if you're starting at surface, which is where all of this outcrops, that reduces the amount of waste if you actually Absolutely. have some gold credits in that rock. So yeah. we're assaying everything. It's taken a long time. We had uh, another uh, saw in place, but uh, we don't have cover. We didn't have a closed building. It was outside. Now that it's freezing, <laughs> it's kind of hard to cut <laughs> core <laughs> with the water freezing. Uh, we're getting trying to get caught up on all our assay results. We put out four holes so far, 1,076 meters out of the 9,700 we drilled. We expect more results over the next few weeks. We're going to have continued flow of drill mm -hmm. results through the end of the year then we're going to be back drilling in mm -hmm. January 1st hopefully we get all the drill results out before then but we may have be drilling again and having more results coming uh, too so uh, and we have put out the four drill results holes will be put out they were all mineralized holes they were great holes uh, one of the highlight holes was roughly five meters of 30 grams a ton in a hanging wall zone you know, uh, beside the main yeah. zone. And those diagrams, the cross sections, the maps are up on the website. You can see how these are large mineralized zones of Mispickle. Do, do you get, get also more traction now from other areas, other banks and so on, and say, hey, what's happened with your company? Then you're doing fantastic also in this market. Get you more traction from other groups now to your company? Absolutely. I mean, what it is is, you know, we've gone, we've done the work, and I mean, Joe's done the work. He's directed, we've, we've done the right work on the property. We've done the work that, you know, is appreciated and respected by corporates, because Joe's done this before. He did this with Maladine. He packaged that up, introduced it to Agnico Eagle. They acquired that property. It was a real success. So Joe has done this. He knows what work needs to be done. He knows what they expect and the quality of work. And now what we're doing is, uh, since... Um, I guess there was a, a big conference in uh, Boulder Creek, uh, Beaver Creek, sorry, in uh, September. Yep. We had tremendous interest by corporates, by institutions, uh, people that hadn't talked to us before, and now they were interested in, uh, you know, with what we, we have going, because they're seeing the things come together. So to answer your question, yes, we're getting a lot of interest, and that's where Joe is now. Mm -hmm. He's in Vancouver, we had our AGM, and he's off dealing with uh, technical meetings. Uh, what is the final goal? Also, that uh, kind of Agnico Eagle deal or something? The final goal is to make as much money off the stock as we can. <laughs> okay. okay. And what it would <laughs> that be. That is what the investors need. Well, you know what it is? is that, I mean, it sounds like a, you know, a glib thing to say, which it is. But, you know, what it, it, it is is we're doing the right work. And Joe can take this. He can take this all the way through to mine development. And, uh, you know, there's a point in time everybody says, well, it'd be great if you got bought out tomorrow by a corporate. Well, not really, because they're going to see we're trading at 80 cents. They're going to offer us double. You know, and that's not enough. So, you know, we think that we have a district potential mm -hmm. here. And uh, with the, well, we, you know, and we're, we're demonstrating that as well. With the results we're getting with the multiple target areas, we think we have the potential here for, uh, for a major success. So we're just doing the right work to advance the project. And somewhere along the way, it's for sale if the offer is right. If not, we'll just keep developing. It's just like, you know, playing poker. You know, you mm. want to get you get a good hand. You want to do you get the maximum That's benefit. That's what we're going to do. But we're also not going to say, well, we want to uh, operate a mine because we want a job and we want to do uh -huh. all that to the detriment of the shareholders. Because you'll see, looking at our financials, we don't take big salaries. You know, we make you know we have large share positions in the company. We've invested in the company. Management has a significant stake. Uh, we're our reward is the same as the shareholders mm -hmm. from the stock. So that's what we're trying to do. Yeah, that's that's perfect for me, and I think for all shareholders outside. I always like hearing it when people tell me that when I own, own shares in other companies. <laughs> uh, so I think this was a great update. Thank you. See you next time in, in January. Then we can discuss a little bit more about uh, uh, the drill results, what coming to this st uh, stage, and, and maybe we will see what's what's happened. You never know. We are in the mining business. Well, we're hoping for, for good fortune, and uh, I think you're doing the right things, and you know we, we, we're very confident in this project. That's all I can say. I, I believe also, very heavily. Ja, es war, glaube ich, ein gutes Update und er hat ein paar wichtige Punkte gesagt. Also erstens einmal, dass, dass die dort etwas finden, das, das steht außer Zweifel. Und sie bohren jetzt einfach einmal das Ganze so weit wie möglich und so schnell wie möglich ab. Denn er hat einen wichtigen Punkt gesagt. Wenn einer natürlich kommt und bietet natürlich äh, genug Geld an, ähm, dann ist die Company auch äh, for sale. Also das ist, sie, wollen, sie kleben nicht an ihrem Sessel und wollen das unbedingt in Produktion bringen, sondern 
Sie sind da dementsprechend flexibel und jeder kann sich seine, die, die Bücher anschauen und der sieht, dass die eigentlich nicht solche äh, hohen äh, Gehälter sich auszahlen lassen, sondern sie haben einfach eine hohe Aktienposition und sitzen damit im selben Boot wie wir Aktionäre auch. Ähm, und das ist extrem wichtig und ich bin davon überzeugt, dass die Company mit irrsinnig guten Ergebnissen rauskommt, das wird dementsprechend den Aktienkurs befeuern und in diesem Bull Market, der ja bis mindestens 2018 meines Erachtens geht, wird die Company am Ende wahrscheinlich nicht mehr existieren, sondern eine andere ähm, Company, die gekauft haben. Das ist natürlich nur meine Einschätzung, aber ich glaube, äh, da liege ich nicht so falsch. Ja, das war's. Update von Terex äh, und äh, ja, Oktober 2016, Vancouver. Tschüss. Thank you.